What's going on, guys? Sin for the win here. We are back with our franchise mode as the Ottawa Senators. And first and foremost, I want to thank the those of you who came out last night onto the Twitch stream for uh, NHL Gamer and uh, checked out me and Tugi doing a live casting for uh, esports commentary. That was uh, we had a blast, and I'm glad that some of you guys were able to make it out and check that out. Uh, if you didn't see it, I'll put a link in the comments where you can go and watch the replay of it. It was, uh, I think we did pretty good for our first time there. Anyway, back to back to the issue here. Ottawa Senators, 31-24-6. and six. We could still make the playoffs. There's a few things we can do. Now, I did some a uh, little bit of scouting here before, uh, before I start recording here. Trying to find maybe a right-handed temporary defenseman here. Only problem is I don't think we're going to be able to grab one. Uh, no one's on the block for one and for two, too much value. Um, there's a few teams who have, you know, potential ones to grab such as Seth Jones, but then you're like, oh yeah, Seth Jones is good. Seven years though. I don't think so. We have two right-handed defensemen coming up. Um, we don't want to have too much money in that. And, uh, obviously Edmonton has a risk the line in, but way too much value. And we didn't want the, that long of a contract either. Uh, Ekblad, that would be okay, but that's just too much value. How are we going to come up with that value? And I think, I'm pretty sure he's a Yeah, he's a righty. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, like the contract's great. Value, that's going to be impossible to get. But besides, you saw what uh, uh, Florida's contra uh, cap situation was like. They, they'd be really hard for us to make that trade go through. Um, these guys have absolutely no one. It's just, it's, it's tough. I mean, there's Dumba. He would be good, but again, not on the block. If he was on the block, this would be a little bit easier to grab. You know, I'm, I'm honestly tempted to try for it. But what, this is like the one that I think we would maybe be able to get. Is like Matt Dumba. Because it's at least within the range on, on, con, uh, on cap wise. But... Where do we get the value? We could throw in the pick. I know some people were saying Logan Brown. I'm not 100% comfortable with that. I'd rather keep him around and see it, try him out third line. He could be a really, really good third liner, I think. Um, like, I think he's got all the tools to be a very good third line center. He's actually listed as the third liner. And I don't think he's going to grow much more. So, him being listed as a third liner... It could be really good for us. And even if he becomes listed as a second liner, we can give him point time on the power play. And I think he'll be fine. But we got to think, where where would we get this extra value if not from uh, Logan Brown? I was hoping for, like, maybe a declining uh, defenseman. But it's just that's just not in the market here. This guy could be moved. I mean, we do have several others, but I'd, again, kind of rather hold on to as many right-handed prospects as we can get just because I want to kind of overshoot. I want to have more than I need. I don't think now's the time, so we might have to go with a bit of patience here. Um, again, an elite, elite prospect, I probably want to hold on to him. It's, you know, if a Ginla doesn't work out, it's honestly best to have two separate elite goalies so I just I don't see where we get this value from you know we're we're kind of we're kind of lacking in some ways on value Kozlov would be kind of the only one you know it's not maybe not looking like he'll be outstanding offensively with the low awareness but his shots really good so you kind of, I honestly want to see where he goes with it. It's I think it's just too early to be trading some of these guys. Other ones were more cut and dry before. Like when we were making, you know, big moves. Now this, now this dumb guy. We got to remember, this is only going to be maybe like a three or four year pickup. Unless, of course, none of our right-handed prospects, you know, uh, make it up there. But I think we had what? Of the low elites. We got Havlid, 76 at 21. Kapusta, 74 at 19. I'd say at least one of these guys could make it up there. Now, it's, you know, it's kind of a, it's still a risk, but to trade that right-handed, the that right winger, when we don't know what, yeah, I don't, I don't think so. 
A Nisimov, yeah, he could get pretty good. But we also don't know how he's going to prove. He started as a grinder. He's not doing too good right now in the third line, but that third line isn't doing good in general. Uh, I kind of want to hold on to Kozlov for that. Griffin, like, it's... Uh, like, yeah, we could trade this cool god guy. He's not looking like he'll go anywhere or anywhere crazy good. But at the same time, there's not a whole lot of value because low elite. So it's it's either, we kind of would have to trade something in my eyes that we might we don't really want to trade. And I think there's other ways we can make the playoffs without without making this move. And I think it's starting Subban more. So what we're going to do here is, gra is grab another uh, depth, depth forward. I think that's easy enough. I'm going to look around for a depth. That's what I didn't do. I should have done that as well. But I just kind of wanted to go over that a little bit with you guys. I, I would love to. I just don't quite think it's uh, it's in the cards right now. Anyway, let's sort by overalls here. All right, not really looking like anything special there. I'll try to look at names I might know as well. We already made a move with Call uh, Arizona. Nah. Oops. Let go too quickly. Um, move on. Two years left. Unfortunate. Studnika, nah. Nope. I wish Bergeron had one year left. I'd totally snag him. Next year. Ber Let's keep in mind Bergeron as a rental for next year. Uh, Needlander is still tendered. Let's see here. Declare, Froleek, Ocpozo. Those are all kind of decent. How about Froleek? Honestly, looks good. His awareness is going to be around 85. His stick checking is going to be around 87. Shot blocking really doesn't matter. Good discipline. Uh, poise, I can't really tell, but if he's going to be more of a pure depth guy. Although, you know, 80 overall. It's it's pretty high up there. I do like him. I'll keep. I'll, I'll remember for a leak on Buffalo. We'll just let's just keep looking here. Let's not settle immediately. Uh, Kruger, I think he's going to be too low overall. Now Duchesne's on the block. Was he on the block before? I think it was just Galchenyuk who was on the block. There's also Jordan Stahl. Who would be honestly outstanding to have his depth. And he should have better poise. Less discipline, but if he's going to be mostly depth, that won't really matter. They want to get rid of him, and we could take on the cap. He's on their fourth line. Let's see. What would we need to send back the other way? I think I want to hold on to the other... the. Or do I want to hold on to... Uh, Abramov, you know what? I should probably actually change. Like, this is a good amount of value. I should probably just move him. Yeah, because you know what? We're, I don't foresee us using him. I don't foresee him getting... I was I was thinking, oh, I can hold him on for an offensive uh, sub, but 85 and 84, that's not extremely impressive. And he's got value. I'm going to trade him, actually, in this deal. Yeah, he's going to be sent back. Abramov's going to be sent back, and we're going to snag something else. Maybe even another depth guy if, if they have another really, really good one. But let's see about picks. One, two, three, four. We can grab one more pick in this as well. Could grab. I could easily grab a third in this deal. Easily. Maybe even another second, which I wouldn't be too upset about. Probably another second? Yeah, no. Unless it's a lower one. Or projected lower ones, such as that one. Maybe that goes through. Maybe. It's it's quite skewed, but since everything's matching the block, it does have a slim chance. But hard trade difficulty, you never know. Um, before I do that, though, I think I can get a third plus another uh, depth forward for def uh, another depth forward. Haglin. When you're left. Is he any good? I think he's a playmaker. No, he's a two-way forward. He looks decent. 84, 82, and 86. It's not 100% accurate and go up or down. But he could actually be good. Good. Looks like he's going to have good discipline. Maybe decent poise. Very passionate. Can do it. Will do whatever it takes. Can be emotional. That's good. We'll need that for the playoffs if he goes in. Do whatever it takes to win. I kind of like Hagelin. Can we pick up both of these guys and a pick? Performance in. 
Maybe. I don't know if we'll get a third after those two, but we'll try. That looks good. That looks good to me. Abramov for Stahl, Haglin, and a third. Cap is not going to matter. It'll help them out. And because we're getting rid of all that cap, they should want this trade to go through even more. Not quite. Woefully insufficient, I guess. Okay. Rip. All right. Um, we should be able to grab that four then. In fact, I'll grab like another pick from next year. Because I think we'll be able to do that. Woefully insufficient still. Maybe not. Huh. They, he's still saying woefully insufficient. Doesn't look that way, but I guess it is. So maybe we say scrap that guy. Scrap Hagelin, even though he's decent. But we could probably find another better depth guy elsewhere. And try to go for just that second deal. That's not... Yeah. I know that's... After what he was saying before, but I still wanted to test it. Maybe... No, it's, he's still saying woefully insufficient, so grabbing a second back is just not going to work. Can I get a three and a four, though? Maybe it's just I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting fooled by the visual on the bars, but if this doesn't work, it just isn't where it needs to be. Okay, it's at least getting closer. We should be able to get... Maybe not. That alone. No, that's still... Ugh. Woefully to... What are you talking about? Man, I think Jordan Stahl must have more value than it's, than it's showing. That's the only thing I can conclude from this. I did want him, but... I would want to get, like, a solid pick back. This is a pure rental, so... I'll keep that in mind, but... That's my only conclusion, because the way it looks on, on our screen, obviously, is is good, but... Not so much uh, in their mind. Nason, no. Gunler, no. Too much value. Lawton's decent, but not for what we're going for. Tyler Bertuzzi wouldn't be bad when you're left. Let's see how stats. I, I, he's been okay. Ah. Uh, I'm not liking that. I'm not liking how he's built with the stick checking. It means his defensive awareness could actually be quite low. I don't know that it is, but I'm not comfortable taking a chance. Damn. Not a whole lot. I might do a bit of editing here. All right, so here we are back in Buffalo. And I think we're going to try to go for Forlik and uh, Ocpozo as well. Because Ocpozo is really low. We're going to relieve him of some cap because we can take it back. And it looks like he should be pretty decent defensively. And uh, maybe has a bit of offensive stats still to him. Good shot. We'll see. Maybe he brings a physical presence as well. But I think he and Froelich would be really good pickups here. Uh, so I'm going to try to move for that. For Abramov. Now, they don't want Abramov. They don't want to give these two guys up. It might be hard to get a pick back. But I'm going to try to anyway. It's not going to be a third or anything like that. I highly doubt. But I'll try for one. Uh, I just think that will be way too much here for Abramov. Uh, the value just isn't there whatsoever. Yeah. Going to be hard. But... Let's gr try to grab a pick back here. Valley just isn't there. Might not get lucky, but doesn't have to be a high pick. Doesn't have to be anything. I'm going to keep going down here, see what they say. <laughs> uh, I don't even know if this will go through straight up by the looks of it. It may not. Not even straight up. Interesting. This is very interesting. I, I don't know if... They're not valuing our players the same way or, or what, but it's just not a whole lot. Now, what I could do is go for Freleek and then try to make another move for uh, Stall or... Uh... Oh, shit. I meant to add in a pick. Well, that's gone. <laughs> oh, my God. Good stuff, Sin. Good stuff. You're really killing it with this GM thing. Oh, my fucking God. <laughs> Oh, goodness. All right. Well, the thing is, that guy's not going anywhere, so that value's dropping off real quick. I still feel like an idiot. Everyone feel free to laugh at me. That's good. That's what I, I was just clicking buttons. That's what happens. Okay, well, now who do we send back for this? Gonna add a goalie. And trash. That's what I was thinking about doing. 
So looks like we may be lacking a pick here for this coming draft. Who you? Power forward. Don't really need him. He is growing decently. Blah, blah, blah. But don't really need him. We can get something better. So, all right. Those two guys, and we'll, and we'll try to grab back a pick in this as well. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, especially with what we're sending his way. They really don't like the idea of giving up stall. But, I mean, they should. This looks just really weird. Like the val I don't know if my value is just really wrong or what, but it does look very interesting. Consult our trade black. Bitch, I have. You want to give these two guys up. So give me a pick back, you assholes. Yeah, I'm really not understanding. Maybe it's just stall. Maybe, like I said, maybe it's just we have totally wrong information. I'm not, I don't want to grab just back a second back if I'm giving up these two guys. So I'm going to go for Haglin instead then because this is going to be taking way too long. This is just depth. I'm trying to maybe be a little bit too perfect here. Let's grab Carl Haglin back instead. Let me just, yeah, it does have one year left. I don't even have to click on him. Uh, keep that guy. Will they go straight through straight up for the backup? Probably not. No, okay. So a little bit of extra then. We have some guys I'm not using in the AHL who I could put in in this deal. Let's go by values. That's a lot better. I believe. Maybe not. Um, Harper, I'm not exactly using at all times. He's good to be in there for depth, but that's just... That's just AHL stuff. Yeah, that's kind of it. Unless we throw in that... Uh, the high fringe starter, which I don't want to do. It's all right. Maybe Harper. If that doesn't go through, though, these two guys, then it's not exactly worth it. Don't know that will, but we'll try. Try to get a seventh, and then if not, that's it. I don't even think it goes. No. Okay. So get that other top six dude in there again and then try to get a better pick. That's really all I can manage here. Because other than that, we don't have a whole lot that I'm willing to give up. Low top sixes, yeah, I can give those up. And in this case, I don't want anything lower than a three. I know, I know. They're not probably not going to say yes to the two, but I'm trying anyway. Maybe. Nope. Three. Four next year. Go through, please. These guys just hate life. What the fuck? Carolina's GM is drunk or something. I, I don't quite understand the values immensely in his favor. Fuck this, man. I'm roll I'm this is frustrating at this point. I'm just rolling with one depth guy, apparently. We got guys to call up. Fuck you. Alright. And now I'm a little pissed that I didn't get that extra pick from the last trade, but what the hell else can I do in that situation? Carolina is out of their minds. All right, well, before we get simming here, I'll trade for another pick at the draft <laughs> if I really want one. That was just annoying. Uh, da, da, da. Auto rotate goalies off. We're going with Subban. We're gonna ride him at the end of the season, and that's how we're gonna try to make these uh, these playoffs here. He's been doing a lot better than his counterpart Mrazek. So he's gonna get the he's gonna get the helm here. They've played very similar games. We're gonna give Subban the vast majority of games here at the end. We're gonna treat Mrazek as a true backup. Of course, there's a back-to-back -back right here. Should have left him in and then switched him, but uh, you know, 
Where's the next back? Oh, there's two back-to-backs right in a row. Awesome! It's exactly what I wanted here. I have to switch a bunch of stuff. Oh, good. Josh Norris. It's just a mild concussion, but that's still a bit crappy because, yeah, he was our shooter on that line. It's not for long, but I can't just... Sub them in there. Or at least for a leak is actually kind of good on face-offs, as I recall. Eh, no, not really. Better than anyone else, though. I'll put him here as well. He's not out for too long. I know we're trying to make the playoffs, but I don't think this will have a huge, huge, huge effect on making it making or breaking this this for us. Brown being in the center of the second line will because he's trash. Yeah, we lost that game. I'm giving it to Subban again. We actually need wins. I hope he doesn't get injured. He didn't, but he also fucking lost. God damn it. You were so good, Subban. What's what's the problem now? Huh. We might not make the playoffs. I'm glad I didn't trade my first. I was thinking about doing that for a uh, defense, and there we go. He shuts him out. Let's give him a rest here. Two really unfortunate losses there, though. Yeah, we got. We have to get a lot of points here. We really do. Mrazix, Maz, whatever. Mrazix hopping in for a game now. Then we're going right back to Sue, man. I have to. It. It. His stats looked really good, so I have to go with him. That's just how it is. If he proves me wrong, then I don't know. Goal of rotations. I hate. Come on now, Mrazix. Just get us a dub. Don't fuck us. Good. We got Norris back. It's exactly what we needed. <laughs> get out of there. All right, Norris, sub back in. There we go. Back to your spot on the second line. Please win that game. <sighs> we lost it in regulation. Jesus. Three out of four. First line's not scoring by the looks of it. Awesome. That's, you know, another thing that we really need right now. It's our first line not scoring. Subban back in there. <sighs> it's kind of been an issue all year. Not being able to score much. And now we're four points back from a playoff spot. We're not getting the wild card. We have to get third. So we're pretty much, we're riding Subban all the way up to this game in the back-to-back. -back. Come on, Sub. Come on, Ottawa. Get some Ws. There we go. 3-1. Needed that. Nashville's not good. We lost, but we get a point. It's not the end of the world, but we need to come back with a win. St. Louis is a tough team. We get smoked. I don't think we're making the playoffs playing like this. I just don't. I don't think, and now Adam Larson's injured. Perfect timing. All this stuff is great timing. You love to see it. You hate to see it. Whatever. Score some goddamn points here, guys. Are you still at 55 points? No, good. He's got four points in the last couple games at least. But again, another tough injury. Jaros, play your ass off, please. Come on, win, 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 win. <sighs> I don't even want to look at this right now because I'm so focused on making the playoffs, but it's just not looking good. I don't understand that, man. He's doing, Subban's doing so good, and then we turn off rotations. Hey, this franchise goaltender. Nice. Now I could have traded the Elite. Now I can think about trading him at the draft. If we could honestly secure this guy. Good work ethic, compete level of maturity. Bit of a shorter goaltender, but he's franchise, so you obviously want to pick him up. All right. We might uh, be wanting to keep an eye on this guy because obviously that's probably where we're ending up if we miss the playoffs. So I like this. I like the, we, we have we have backup plans, but yeah. <laughs> uh, balance strength and defensive zone play. I like that guy. Similar to Shea Weber. So we at least got some silver linings here if we do miss the playoffs. I don't want to, but it may happen. The way this is going right now. Not too good is how it's going. We'll try to make some switches. I might even put Lafreniere back onto the uh, onto the third line and move up Balsers if that'll do anything. We'll see. Don't know that it will, but hey, let's just get a couple more of these guys scouted here. Let's just move off from there. Come on, we need a win. We really need wins here, guys. There we go. Big win. 
Not gonna help our row, but it's two points. All right, Mrazic, you gotta step in and get us a W here. Plain and simple. We desperately need it. Oh, we're actually not gonna make it, are we? Where's the wild cards? We, all right, so we're four points out of a wild card spot now. Buffalo went on a tear. We're four points out of the wild card. Philly's clinched, but four points out of the fucking wild card. Jesus. At least we do have a game in hand on New Jersey, so that's good. We, but we have to win. We have to win. We got to go on a tear. First line's got to do real good. How's the second line? Ugh. He's only got 38 points here in 70-something games played. Now, that bolster's doing much better, but let's try to make that line just better overall. I don't know. We're going to make that switch as well. Branson's doing good, but... To, uh, Terrell's doing better. No, now they're doing the same. Terrell's got the power play, so okay, we'll just leave it like that. All right, all right, all right. What can I do here? Not really much. I know our second unit was killing it. Balls, moving balls up is one thing. That's one thing I can do. That's kind of the only thing right now. Yeah, for the most part. All right, get Mrazic in for this game. We need to win. Balser's back on the second line. I, I, we have to try everything. We're, we're desperately fighting tooth and nail to make it in the playoffs. If we don't get wins, we're, we're toast. Come on, Mrazic. We need you to shut the door. <sighs> Are we scored enough, but Mrazic couldn't shut the door. A point's not good enough. We need two, and we lose in the shootout. All right, they played another game and they lost. You know what? We're a bit closer. We're three points out with a game in hand now. So that's that's a bit of good news. Three points out with a game in hand. I don't know that we'll make it. Uh, come on. Let's go, Subban. Back in there. We got to go. We got to kill it here. We're only, we're only playing Mrazic here on back-to-backs. That's literally the only time we're going to play him. All right, three games for Subban. And then one game for Mrazic, and then probably the rest for Subban. Come on, Ottawa. And Florida's not really a good team this year. Big win. 5-1. to one. Good job, Subban. Only allowing that one goal. Larson's back. That's also good for us. We could put him back in there, and we have a better defensive core who could help. All right. Back in there. Let's go. All right. Boston, pretty good team. No, no, they're not that. No. I mean, they shut us out for fucks, and we loot. God damn it! Ah, oh, I. No, I'm just gonna say it now. We're not making it. Not playing like this. We're just we're letting opportunities pass. They got 83 points as the wild card still, but they have now the same amount of games played. So we're three points out with the same amount of fucking games played. <sighs> Lafreniere is now an 83. <laughs> 39 points. It's just still not good enough. What's he got? Like two goals and no assists? Or if, I don't know what he's done. It feels like he's done a bit more than that. Ah. I really don't know what else to do or what else I can do. It doesn't feel like I can't do much. Really, I can't. I don't think. Ugh, it's just... I don't know. I'm just thinking here, guys. I, I'm i trying to just think of a way. I just, there's not much else I can do to optimize here. I'm kind of playing it to the best I can. So we got Mrazic in there now for a game. Advanced day. We lost in overtime. <sighs> yep, it's pr we're pretty much toast. I don't, think we're I don't think we're coming back here. We have to win every game. We're, we put ourselves in a situation we have to win out six six in a row. And we got to ride Subban the whole time. And we have another back-to-back, -back, so it's likely not happening. He, Subban might even get injured, but we got to do what we can. 
Go, Ottawa, go. Come on now, guys. Nope. Not even close. We win. We lose. Yeah, if we win these last three games, maybe, but we're not going to. Nope, we're done. All right, so horrible end of the season for Ottawa. Tried our best, but yep. Not good enough. Plain and simply not good enough. Ah! Fucking hell. Marner around point a game all year decides, never mind, I don't want to do that. Warrell, even close to point a game all year, decides, never mind, I don't want to do that. 85 points. Nowhere even close to good enough to make it to the playoffs. We, lost, we were out by four points. No, we weren't close. We had to win out, like I said, to have a chance, and we didn't. Goals four even dropped more, and goals against went up. It. <laughs> Fuck me, man. Ah. Chemistry just plummeted, but that's because we missed the freaking playoffs. Grow, you asshole. Oh, great. Now Galchenyuk going to get me the mor get the morale shit happening, huh? Good. That's exactly what we want. All right. <laughs> Guess that's what we're doing here. So let's... Let's just wrap things up, take a look at the team points and stuff like that. Go around the league. Very disappointed in the end of the season. God damn it. Look at this point drop off. Warrell, not even 60 points. Dude, you got to get 60 points. We are playing on a first line with Marn Warrell. Kachuk, like, come on. How, how are we not having all 60 point scores at least on that line? That is a travesty. That's an absolute travesty, man. That makes zero sense to me. Especially with Shabbat back there feeding him the puck. Like, what is the issue? There should be no issue. Galchenyuk, 50 points. Lafreniere got 46 at the end. He did his part. Balsters didn't even get 40. Norris got 22 goals, but that's it. Playing on that line all year. It. I don't know. This team just doesn't fucking score. And it. I don't understand it because it looks like we have tremendous offensive capability. But we just sim terribly. Got some decent points from the back back end. 56 from Shabbat, 26 and 26. Uh, sorry, 26, 26, 22 from Branson, Terrell, and Odell, respectively. Subban's stats are going to be in the shitter now. You had a chance to get stat growth. You just had to maintain your goddamn level of play, Subban. All you had to do. I know it's hard, but you dropped that far. I'm like, yeah, I would understand if you dropped the 2.2 or, you know, 2.3, maybe 2.4, but all the way down there in that short amount of time. Let us down, Subban. Goaltending is also a very big issue. Can't score. Can't keep the puck out of the net. We're still in hell. This team is still in hell. We're working our way up slowly, but my goodness, has this been tough. Oh, why'd I exit? We got to check around the league. All right. Let's see what the NHL did. Let's see what people around the league enjoyed. Holy shit! What? Oh my god, I have never seen this. I'm not mad though. I ain't, I ain't even mad. That's fantastic. Tomas Hurdle at age 29. Wow, yeah, he's being paid big bucks. We'll lead the league in points with 95. And Evander Kane will have a 41 point year or 41 goal year. Confirm bucket. <laughs> All right, goal leader. That would be Austin Matthews with 49, only 21 assists for 70 points. Makes sense. There's Austin Matthews for you. Uh, assist guy, William Nylander with uh, 62. Hurdle in second with that 59. Looks like most teams had lower scoring this year, but still doesn't excuse our poor first line performance or our poor goaltending performance. Uh, Miko Rontanen was a plus 36. Not a whole lot of big pluses either. Uh, game winner is Philip Forsberg with 10, 1 out of 3. Tavares with 10 as well, 1 out of 4, average-ish rounding. Uh, 18 power play goals for Sagan. Power play point leader was Taylor Hall with 33. Wow. Four more than the next guy. Shorthand goal leader, uh, Tyler Bertuzzi. Interesting. Shorthand points, McCann, Thomas, and Dubé all with 5. Oh. And we got to check out the defensive stats, see who we think is going to be winning that Selkie. Yeah, looks like O'Reilly's making a push back for it. Uh, wait a sec. 
Well, yes, Patterson actually has a better face-off percentage. Uh-oh. Elias Pettersson for Selkie. Canucks, Canucks Twitter is going to go absolutely insane right now. Oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> Pettersson for Selkie is something that no one should ever in their right minds be thinking. I could kind of see it, although hits and block shots are very low, in my opinion. I would still give it to O'Reilly personally, but it's the game, and it's in the game. You never know. So that could be interesting to see who gets that. Uh-oh. You know you're going to hear it from Vancouver fans everywhere. Patterson should get every trophy this year. Okay, so Kale McCarr, unreal. I know someone mentioned that he had like 30-something goals last year. This time he got the assist to match at 79 points, plus 21. Not a lot of hits, good amount of blocks. Hmm... Good enough for the Norris? Maybe. He's lot, He's light years ahead of everyone. He's got similar plus minus. Could be. Good season for Merrick Carlson, though, with 67 points. You got to respect that. Dumba's apparently a point scorer now. Weird. Okay. How about goalies? You see anything weird happen? Or, oh my fuck. Hi, Carter Hart. Hi, good to see you. Whoa. Um, no one else matters, basically. Uh, that's the Carter Hart Show. 64 games played, 44, 14, and 5. 13 shutouts, 0. .941 save percentage, 1.77 goals against. I don't care if Vasilevsky had an amazing year as well. No one else came close to Carter Hart. He got that. No, no chance for anyone else. That's Carter Hart all the fucking way. Holy hell. Unreal stats. Unreal season. 111 goals against allowed over an 82 game season. Just just wrap your mind around that for a second. That is absolutely insane. Goodness gracious. Just stop. Wow. Okay. All right, Dennis Senko. <laughs> 46 goals and 17 assists. <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes he just gets absolutely insane. Now let's freaking create a players. I even edited, like, his shot down, I remember, in a previous... Oh, maybe I didn't... No, I, I, I am, because I just import the rosters. I guess I got to do it more. Goodness, because he's, like, he's 83. He's already got 90s in the shots. It's a little bit overboard, I think. So I'll have to mess with that a bit more. But uh, there you go. 46 goal rookie season, only 17 assists for 63 points. <laughs> Doesn't matter who the goalies are, because they don't give him give him a Calder anyway, even though one deserved one last year, and he's our Calder winner, but no, no, none of them was really good anyway. You got some guys who could be effective. Not a bad debut for Samsonov as a backup. Not a bad debut for uh, Skarik. I believe he's a high fringe starter. And there you go. Now, one, last but not least, we'll do the fun steps here. Check the progress reports and call it a video. Uh, Brennan Gallagher, 192 hits, still no one breaking that 200 mark. Tom Wilson right below with 189. And fights. Oh, hello, Ernesto Leguan, 22 fights. Let me guess, a two-way forward? Yep. <laughs> oh, yay. You're so predictable. All right, and that takes care of that. 22 fights, next guy below him with five. Someone's trying a little too hard to bring back the 80s there. All right, progress supports. We get some growth at least. Rask's going to lose all that. <laughs> Logan Brown, you're going to lose that. Ballsters, you might lose some of that. Lafreniere at least got some more natural growth. That's great to know. Get some more in the offseason, please. We need you on the second line. All right, in the system, uh, Cali Pedersen, Pedersen, Peterson. Looks like Peterson. Um, 57 and 19 needs to grow more. But he did get a decent chunk. I believe he was one of those guys starting in the 40s. <laughs> uh, Luamala, he's on good pace for growth as a top six. Not amazing defense, but he's actually lower overall. 
Uh, Griffin, 60, or sorry, 76 to 19. He's on a tremendous pace here. Great offensive awareness. A bit lower on the passing, but at least that awareness is up there. A decent shot. Uh, really good defensive awareness. This guy's looking really solid. Uh, Havlid, 76 to 20, uh, 21. That's the uh, righty defenseman. He's getting up there. Look at that pass. <laughs> God damn it. Offensive awareness is in the shitter, but great passing. What? Why are your puck skills just going really, really crazy? And then you're actually actual kind of trash on offense. You're built dumb. Yeah, you're built really dumb. Fuck you, Havilid. I hate you. Kapusta better. Look at that passing. Then the awareness. At least it's even-ish. Yeah, look at that. That's how you grow. Let Jorge show you how it's done. Oof. You piece of trash. All right, um, Picard, 76 and 22. Little Vori. Eh. Not looking like a whole lot. Oh, excuse me. Cause Love needs to grow more, but he's still on decent pace. Let's just go by uh, potentials here so we can see anyone who's not grown and call him out. Again, la, except he's an offseason grown. I think he had, did grow a bit this year. It's just maybe not reflected. Who knows? Svensson grew a tiny bit. Goalies are more offseason growers. Mathers didn't grow at all. Hopefully he gets a nice offseason jump, but I'm pretty sure this guy's like a grinder or some shit anyway, so he could be a third or fourth liner. We don't need him to be anything amazing. Wiseman didn't grow. He's looking like a trading piece right now. Yeah, we'll have to take a look at him at the draft. Big boy, but not growing. Tominen's looking good. Another righty. How are you developing? Well, yes, yeah. Pretty good, pretty even. Yeah, good. So it's just Ulf who's being a dick about it. And we could even grab, hopefully, around 15th or 14th. We should actually have our pick be around there uh, with the way we finished the season. So we can grab that medium elite right-handed defenseman. Have yet another one in the bank. Because, yeah, we need them. And then we'll then we'll be set from there. Then we'll really, really be set. All right. So there we go. Before I end, though, I said I was going to end after this, but I wanted I, I went to the right. I didn't want to do that. I want to go here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Contracts. Who do we want to sign? Yeah, here we go. Warrell. I got my phone with me at least. I do want to sign him. Hopefully he's not going to ask for a whole crap ton because fuck you. Ah, damn it. I was hoping. That wouldn't be the case, but it is. Sometimes it, it, it'd be like that. All right. Um, let's see here. We can get him for four years for around 7.9. That's good enough for now. Well, for out of curiosity, though, 7.9 for four years. Let's see what he wants for eight. That's like 10 mil. Hasn't earned that yet. Four years at 7.9. All right, Balsters, I think I want back. Norris, definitely want back. Uh, doesn't want a whole lot either, so. I might, can I give him more years, actually? Let's take him up until he's going to be done growing here. Let's see what that price is. Because I think this guy's going to be really effective, at least has kind of a, he'll, he'll put some goals up. If, if we could just get him... Better supporting cast. That is uh, exactly what we're going to want. So we can get him for right there for four years. That's a ridiculously good deal for what this guy can bring to the table. Uh, Lafreniere. Yeah, obviously. What? Fuck? Where, where are you at, dude? Where's your brain? I can give him a one-year deal and... What the fuck, Lafreniere? You're out of your mind. We're not going to need Larson back. Lafreniere is legit out of his mind asking for that. I'll wait on him. Because, honestly, fuck that. You're out of your mind, dude. You have not proven a damn thing yet. I don't care if you're a first-round pick. Show me. Show me something. All right, I think that's what we'll do here for extensions. Oh, yeah, Balsers. Definitely going to want Balsers back. Eh. Eh. I'll wait on Balsters, I think. It's a bit. It's a bit. And I might be losing him third line anyway, so I'll wait on that. 
Okay, so that's the extensions we're gonna do right now, and that wraps things up. I wish I could have made maybe a bigger splash at the deadline, but even training for a depth guy was like pulling fucking teeth because Carolina are assholes. So, yeah, ugh. I mean, but you looked at our top six. You you could you expect more from them, and that's where I'm I'm kind of I'm kind of bewildered. Is that our top six is just simply not producing? I think Lafreniere when he gets up there will be better. Maybe Norris is not like that the great goal scorer that we need. Although he did get what a 20, 20 how many goals did a full get? Twenty two. That yeah, that's still not impressive. Only twenty two goals in seventy nine games played. His, sh his shooting category is just not that good. That's the issue. Yeah, it's hard to say. We need some shooters to be coming up soon. Maxim Kulikov is one, but he hasn't grown a whole lot. Like, he does take a decent chunk of shots. But we need a lot more growth. 22 at 80 overall. I mean, he could grow a lot from this year. Kozlov's kind of not quite in the same boat, but he's grown really dumb. Yeah. Well, I guess we'll see what happens here. Hopefully, we don't have a lot of morale tanks. But yeah, this was a year where I think we should have made the playoffs and we didn't. So this is definitely a letdown year, and we got to try it. We... We got to make the playoffs next year, and yeah, goal goalies are an issue. I will agree on that, but we'll see what we can do in free agency or trade. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. Remember uh, to leave that like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. If watching my videos just isn't enough sin for you, be sure to go over there on Twitter and shoot me a follow, and you could even join our Discord server as well to talk with some of the other sinners out there. The links to both are in the description.